Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Politically Correct Ghana Lesson 165. And today's discussion is titled Emotionally Led Justice versus Proud Investigated Justice. Um, today is the 28th of July 2023, and then we have a case in Ghana that occurred in June 30th, thereabouts, 2023. A month back, a whole month back, that is in Adisada College, where we have a viral video in July 2023 with a uh, with an Adisada College secondary school student, the secondary school student, a final year student, holding the cervical spine, cervical spine of the junior, and aggressively hitting the face against the metallic bed and it seemed to be bleeding not that it's bleeding but that is a video that has been shared on social media all right without an investigations the headmaster has dismissed the housemaster that's a boarding school so he dismissed the housemaster that's a cocoa house housemaster the abuser the bully himself has been dismissed from the secondary school then the bullet, the abused, has also been suspended. The onlookers in that dormitory have all been punished. Then I ask myself, without this or without investigations, and by the school authorities, then education service also supports it. Later, the education service have withdrawn the punishment. Meanwhile, they, they, start, they started serving the punishment already. Interestingly, the Attorney General of the land of the country, Ghana, has decided to take the case to court without an investigation. What the investigations, even as of today, 28th of July 2023, has not been conducted. I won't show you that video. I do not support the abuser, I do not support bullying, not because I once bullied in secondary school or I was once an abuser in secondary school, no. But I, I prefer that we take our time, go through the process such that emotions does not lead our justice system. But then prior investigations directs us to court and justice will be served or justice should be served. The Attorney General, I think you, you hastily went to court today. That's Friday, 28th of July, 2023. And the case has been pushed to August 2, 2023. That your hesitant nature is more pointing towards an emotionally driven or emotional led court action. Are you going to court based on emotions? That's what I see. It's not good. It's not justice. Attorney General, you have done a big disservice to the young man who should be reformed. You know, time to think of it again. The school also delivered. It's justice. Without an investigation, they have stated it very clearly that they are here to investigate. So how do you deliver justice or punish punitive measures as dismissing the young man who abused from the school? Without an investigation, we do not do that. These are issues that need to be looked at carefully. You do not, you can ask him to exclude, you can exclude him from the rest of the school activities. Was investigation. What if the video that went viral is a drama? Attorney General, what will you say? It's just an art, a make believe. What will you say, Attorney General? What if it's true, but would you are in court without an investigation report? How would you defend your case? Are you going to go on hearsay? So, the Attorney General, go for dummy, you've not become a hearsay Attorney General for the country. Ah, no. The, Secondary school system or the educational system's mode of delivery of justice, the authorities' mode of delivery of justice, needs to be questioned. It likens itself to the University of Ghana Commonwealth Hall Court case against the University of Ghana. Commonwealth Hall case against the University of Ghana. Students are believed or alleged to have gone on rampage fighting, and the students have been asked to be removed from the halls. Halls, that's Commonwealth Hall and then Mensa Sabah Hall. Without an investigation, up until now, about a year on, without an investigation, the whole master has been sent away. What kind of justice is this? Collective punishment is all that we're doing. Justice, emotional-led justice, is that what we want? 
Your name is H. Kwame Afaglo. Thank you.